All right, Greyhounds, we're back for day three of our scholarship recognitions. And today we are purely looking at those who have earned scholarships from community uh, organizations and from others that have given their, their money towards our students and their next phase of their life. So without further ado, here we go. Here's our next set of award winners. Adam Collister has been awarded the Carlton Henley Scholarship. Adam plans to attend the University of North Florida where he has been awarded the Presidential Gold Scholarship. He plans to major in musical education, which he hopes will lead him to becoming a band director. Nakia Combs is awarded the Serrato Munoz Scholarship. Nakia will attend Savannah College of Art and Design. She plans to major in visual communication and to become a fashion magazine editor or advisor. Mara Dorenzo has been awarded the following scholarships. Almond Family Character, SSC Academic Scholarship, Lyman Boosters Blue and Gold, and Lyman Boosters Blue. Mara plans to attend University of Central Florida and major in the healthcare field with aspirations of becoming a traveling nurse. Mara plays lacrosse and volleyball. The highlight of her volleyball career came this year as the girls volleyball team won the state championship. Mara was crowned winter court queen this year, which was a huge honor bestowed upon her by her fellow Greyhounds. Mara has also been a member of DECA for all four years and is a two-time state qualifier at the DECA State Competitions for Entrepreneurship Innovation. Mara is the Class of 2021 Historian. Markella Flinch has been awarded the Robert J. Schmidt and E.S. Douglas Endowed Scholarship. Markella plans to attend Seminole State College to become a forensic nurse. She has participated in basketball, volleyball, soccer, dance, and track and field. Although she couldn't run track for the past two years due to an open heart surgery, Markella still made the best out of her senior year. Markella wants to thank her mother and Aunt Liz for pushing her to pursue her dreams. Erica Frucci was selected as a recipient of the Allman Family Character Scholarship this year. She is described as having outstanding leadership skills and a clear sense of purpose. Erica is a servant leader for many nonprofits within the community. She's a 3.6 GPA and she wants to be a dentist to help people. Erica plans to attend USF and major in pre-medical sciences. Logan Gallagher has been awarded the Robert J. Schmidt and E.S. Douglas Endowed Scholarship. Logan plans to attend Seminole State College for two years and then transfer to UCF. Logan plans to major in aerospace engineering. Kelsey Goodpaster was nominated for the Rising Achievers Award. Kelsey will be attending Roger Williams University in Rhode Island to pursue a degree in marine biology. Ziffany Hall was awarded the Central Florida Foundation Scholarship. Ziffany plans to attend Seminole State College and hopes to pursue a career in food services. Melanie Hernandez has been awarded the Robert J. Schmidt and E.S. Douglas Endowed Scholarship. Melanie plans to attend Seminole State College and to major in veterinary medicine to pursue a career in becoming a veterinarian. Ethan Hershaft has been awarded the Handsome Dave Chambers Scholarship from the South Seminole Optimist Club. Ethan plans to attend the University of Central Florida, where he will receive the Bright Future Scholarship. He plans to major in mechanical engineering and interning through UCF. Jamie Jane plans to continue her academic and athletic career in softball at Barry Honors College, where she has been awarded the Gate of Opportunity Scholarship as well as the Lyman Boosters Blue Scholarship. She plans to major in animal science with a concentration in pre-veterinary medicine with a minor in chemistry, which she hopes will lead her to becoming a small pet veterinarian. Dylan Johnson has been awarded the Lyman Boosters Greyhound Scholarship. Dylan plans to attend the University of Central Florida. He plans to major in biomedical engineering and a minor in business. He is a scholar and a student athlete. Dylan wrestled his freshman year and joined the swim team and the water polo team his sophomore year to current. Dylan's hard work ethic and drive helped him achieve his goal of captain of the water polo team this year. Being part of these athletic teams has developed Dylan's ability to be a mentor and leader. He has made lifelong friendships and he is forever grateful. He plans to use his athletic tenacity and workmanship in his educational future. Thank you Lyman Athletics and go Greyhounds! All right, and once again, congratulations. As you can see, these students are amazing and have such a great road ahead of them and have done so many great things in their past four years here at Lyman High School. Congratulations to each of you and have a great Greyhound Day.